What's up guys? It's Tyler back at you again. Wallace Paul and the Sawmill doing another video today. Um got this running in the background. Shut that dude off for a second. So check it out. Had a buddy come up. I've been uh saw I mentioned in a previous video about two videos back about having a saw them 150 tuba sixes. Got us all those 150 tuba sixes, but right now what he needs before we do the tuba sixes is we gotta get him uh some cross bracing whatever you want to call it anyway what we got here is 20 foot light poles and he's uh took all the metal out of them and uh we're gonna saw 20 foot light poles into five and a half by five and a half beams beams maybe that's the word i was looking for so what i'm about to do is i'm about to put i think it's five poles 20 foot long they're, they're kind of small so it's gonna be pretty much four slabs and a five and a half five and a half right out of the middle. So uh, that's what we're doing today. We're sawing light poles into beams for a shed. So let's get it. Taking them over here to the sawmill now. You can tell they all the poles. Got my dad working out here. And then the customer buddy of mine, Corey, he's the one getting the poles, so he's helping get them cut up.
Okay. So I got these done. How long were they? Roughly 20, I believe. Roughly 20. We'll pull the tape and let's see what we get. Oh. Hang on. Yeah, that's what I figured. Pull and tape. Boy, you mind if you get stuck on here in a shot or two? Hopefully not. Let's see what we got here. Yep, they uh, about an inch and a half shy, 20 foot. Really long. But that's what we got. Five and a half by five and a half. And a little bit of slabs. Cor, what you using these on? What'd you say? They're Four beams? Bars. Pole barn beams. Okay. Pole barn post. Post. Yeah. Oh, you're using these for the post. Mm -hmm. How tall will you make it? Well, these are gonna be on the gable end. Oh, okay. Be roughly 16 foot sticking out of the ground. Got gotcha. you. Got gotcha. you. Well, all right then. Just thought that'd be interesting to show the people out there, because normally we don't cut much fire poles. These are poles that were. Either what, what 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 caused these to go out of service, Corey? They random, random change outs. Change outs. Was it because they were old, or just because like they broke in half, or stuff either, like that? Either car hit them. Car hit them. Hit they them. break. They had to be changed out, but for whatever reason, after that, they they had to go somewhere to be served another life. And we're re, uh, we're we're like modern. We're repurposing and reclaiming stuff. <laughs> But it's a good use for them. We'll make a pole barn. If you guys like this content, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll be out here sweating all summer doing it again and again and again. Thanks for watching, guys.